Hey everyone, welcome to Suspicious Pickle Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at Fantasia, the end of the game, uh, chapter one. Listen guys, totally cool game, totally reminiscent of Final Fantasy. Um, I had a lot of fun. Just remember guys, there's um, a bunch of party members you got very little access to. There's a bunch of cool weapons I think are eventually going to pop up. But there were a ton of like two types of chests, Chaos Keys and another one. I never got access to and I'm really wondering what's in those. Um, and I just want to say, hey, it was a fun game. I beat it, uh, chapter one, in 24 hours. You probably could do a little faster. But you know what? Some people go faster, some people go slower. So I am going to show you guys a few parts at the end of the game. After you get through chapter one, they do leave you hanging with a cool cliffhanger. You get stuck in the chaos realm um, to kind of find some stuff. I wandered around a little bit, didn't find the stronger enemies, but it is what it is. Um, the other thing is, is they're basically telling you, hey, um, you know, at part two, there's going to be more stuff to do. So we're all waiting with uh, bated breath. However, there are a couple things I am going to show you now. Um, there is this kind of uh, cool tension gauge that they did come out with. After the max level, eventually you get into here, and they release, you get a divine artifact, which was in the earlier part of the story, and it gives you access to the growth map, which is this kind of cool, like, spiderweb thing where you accumulate SP points. I didn't get any more points. Um, I think they just give you a fixed amount to start to mess with it. I really hope they continue on this, and there was like nine, ten divine artifacts in the game, so I'm assuming each character has their own, which will give them a really cool set of abilities. Um, I would say the game is balanced. I had a lot of fun with it. And the really neat part is, as of right now, you can release all the points and reuse them as you see fit. I did get to the solar flare. I managed to activate it by filling up my tension meter once or twice. Really, really cool cinemagraphic to that. Um, totally enjoyed that. I, It did like 46, 4,700 points of damage a couple times. Thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the max level right now is level 35, and I'll pop over to that in a second. Um, you know what? Yeah, it's chapter one. What do we expect? Typical Final Fantasy games. I always found like level 99, but it is what it is. Also, your main character got a lot of really, really cool skills. The other characters didn't get so many. Um, I think there's still some work to be done there. I will tell you guys, um, I had a lot of fun, and I want to give a huge shout out to my friends at thebcubegaming.com. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Be cool, everyone.